Hello, it's me James, and welcome back to another episode of Simply Survival. This is the series where I like to show you tips, tricks, and tutorials, and of course, I like to do this in complete survival. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a brand new duplication glitch that is working both in realms and normal worlds. I'm currently on my Simply Survival realm. For anyone wondering just before i start today's video i want to say a huge shout out to this user where i seen the comment and i was like oh damn i'm gonna try this i tried it and it worked so yeah gg to this user dude literally as i was about to do in the next bit it started raining i can't even sleep seriously well whilst we're waiting for the rain i can basically explain what the glitch is like i don't know if you guys remember the boat glitch where you basically put a boat in water and then you can get something like red sand and place it down like this and it will kind of go like this if we now log out it will kind of think that the game will break the block but it should still be bouncing now sometimes it actually does fall through the boat so you do have to set this one up it's i mean it's all right it's not bad it's a pretty easy one to do i did a video on this quite a long time ago now actually but yeah long story short the glitch is basically like that but i would say a lot better and you don't have to exit out the game whatsoever very quickly i've come inside and i'm going to show you how the glitch basically works now instead of having a boat what we are going to use instead is a drip leaf now if i go to put an item on the drip leaf and just go like that you can see it just breaks however there's a kind of thing we can do to this drip leaf to make it stay in place forever now i didn't even know about this but basically if you put a lever next to a drip leaf and go like that it will hold the drip leaf in place forever like literally this thing is not moving anymore look at that you could literally use this for like parkour or something i don't know I, I like i said i didn't know this thing was a thing pretty cool but using this feature that means that we can actually keep a gravity block on top of a drip leaf bouncing in this state forever literally forever and now we're able to keep the block in this state for literally ever. We can take advantage of this and make it into a duplication glitch. Regarding the items that we're going to be able to duplicate, we're pretty much going to be able to do all of the different color concretes. We're going to be able to do sand, gravel, red sand. We're going to be able to do dragon eggs, also anvils. One thing that we cannot do is scaffolding i've tested it it does not work but yeah every other gravity block apart from scaffolding we can actually duplicate using this glitch and it is really really simple all we need to actually perform the glitch is of course some drip leaves i'm gonna use five and five levers to go with the drip leaves not only that we actually need to perform this glitch in the nether so that's exactly where i'm gonna go right now using my brand new nether portal well saying that it's not really new anymore i mean i've had it a little while i do need to carry on decorating this place though anyway enough of that let's go through oh yeah one important thing you want to remember is to bring some dirt because once you come in the nether you're not really going to be able to place a drip leaf on nether rack let me just show you yeah you can't place it there but you can place it on dirt so make sure you bring some dirt and all we're going to do with that dirt is simply place it in the ground so i've got one two three four I've got five pieces here, so I can just put those in. And then, of course, on top of those, we're going to put the drip leaves. In front of the drip leaves, we're going to put a lever. Now, listen really carefully what happens when we pull the lever. Dude, this pigment totally ruined the sound. Right, let's try again. Right, listen really carefully what happens. You hear that? The leaf locks in position. So we're just going to place a lever in front of every leaf like this. And now let's go ahead and load up the drip leaves. So to load up the dragon egg, we're going to want to place a solid block. And then on top of this solid block, we can place our dragon egg. And now we remove the solid block. Just like that. And that's how we place the dragon egg. The other blocks we can simply place on a solid block behind the drip leaves. And they should just continuously bounce. I'm going to use concrete, red sand, gravel, and a anvil. Now, as soon as I put the anvil on, it's going to get really, really loud. So, yeah, brace yourself. And, yeah, there you go. So, as I said, yeah, it's going to be a little bit loud. But all we need to do now, notice how I've done this near my nether portal. That's also a really important thing. Because we need to go through the nether portal like this. And as soon as we get through to the overworld, we can just come straight through and uh yeah go back through to the nether like this and when we get back through you'll see oh wow 
That's crazy. We have our duplicated stuff. That is going crazy. What is happening? Whoa. That is insane. But yeah, we have duplicated stuff on the floor. And I just managed to get myself another dragon egg. And there should be some other duplicated stuff. And basically, we can just rinse and repeat this process. I'm actually going to break this anvil. Whoa. I can't even break this anvil. Whoa. Wow. That's absolutely insane. Basically, yeah, you can just rinse and repeat the process. I'm going to go through here again. And just do the process all over again. I'm really interested to see what happens to that anvil. That was insane. So, we're just going to go back through. Oh, damn. Is it getting louder? I have no idea. I mean, they are duplicating, so we're getting some. But that is insane. What the hell? Wow. Again, I can collect all my other stuff and just run some repeat. We're in the overworld and straight back to the nether. And yeah, collect all of our items. Straight back to the overworld. And back to the nether. I think that's the last time I'm going to do it. But you almost definitely get how the process works. And I'm just going to grab my items. And if you want to stop the process, all you have to do is pull the lever like that. So, damn. That was insane. I wonder if we can break. Yeah, we can just break that now. And yeah, you just pull the levers for all of them. And that is how you stop the process. But for what it's worth, I think you can just leave it on. And uh, yeah, you could potentially add some uh, hoppers around here to collect the items if you really wanted to. I think having to go through the nether is a lot better than actually saving and quitting like the boat one. Again, that's a great, great feature. Overall, I'd say this is a really great, really easy duplication glitch. Another thing I should mention, you can also put multiple blocks on and you will actually duplicate multiple blocks at a time. But for what it's worth, I have noticed them break a lot often. A lot more often, should I say. So, if I just go through here, like, I've noticed some of the top blocks break. So, I mean, it's entirely up to you. I know for a fact you can definitely put more than two on there as well. But, uh, yeah, you see this with the gravel. It just kind of tends to break. But you do get more stuff if you can, like, add the items on. I mean, it's entirely up to you how many you want to put on. Give it a test. Try some different stuff. But, yeah, it's a nice, easy, simple gravity block glitch. And that, my friends, is all I've got time for today. Remember, if you've got any bugs or glitches you want to submit, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you need any more information regarding bugs, glitches, or just anything Minecraft-related, feel free to join the Jam Fam Discord server. That will be linked in the description below. So, yeah, I hope this video helps you out. I will catch you on the next one.